local group is working to bring more awareness about ataxia to Denver, and it's giving you a chance to learn more with a walk this weekend. Nine News reporter Vita Urbonis is with them this morning, talking about their efforts to find a cure for this disease. Vita. It can be misdiagnosed as MS and even misconstrued as alcoholism, but awareness is actually on the rise here in Colorado for ataxia. Joining me this morning to talk more about it, we have Charlotte DePew. She is a leader of the Denver Ataxia Support Group, along with Leslie Schick with the Haven House, uh, whose son also has been diagnosed with ataxia. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about ataxia. How is it misdiagnosed for MS and exactly what is it? Taxia means a lack of coordination, and it's not a uh, specific disease, but it's a group of symptoms, and those symptoms originate from a problem within the cerebellum. And then these people who have ataxia, their symptoms are associated with uncontrolled and uncoordinated movement of the hands, the arms, feet, so they have a problem with walking and so forth. And actually, they look like someone who is inebriated or drunk sometimes. Leslie, you said it took a while for your son to be diagnosed. Tell me a little bit about his story and how he's doing now. Um, well, he was struggling with walking a lot and his balance, and over the years it has gotten worse. But initially when he started going to the doctor, um, he had to have a lot of tests run on him in order for them to narrow it down to ataxia and find out exactly what it was. And he has the type of ataxia called Friedrichs. Um, and so since then, he, his walking is, has gotten worse. It's difficult to watch him. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time. It's got to be hard at the mom. It's your baby. So <laughs> he really struggles with that. He has back problems. He can have cardio problems. He can go blind. He can eventually end up in a wheelchair. And that's why you're wanting people to come out to this run, walk, and roll on September 8th, which is tomorrow, which uh, is going to be tomorrow morning. So tell us a little bit about that, how people can get involved, and then also in the support group. The run, walk, and roll, this is our third annual event at uh, City Park. Registration is from 8 to 9 o'clock. We'll have music, and it's just a lot of fun. Okay. We also will have a drawing. And all we ask is that maybe people donate. It's ultimately it's free, but we appreciate the donation.